Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Peter Day here. Welcome back to another video. It's been a really long time since um, I've personally made a video. Um, you've seen a lot from my brother in the last couple weeks and we've just been really busy. So this video is gonna be an update and it's just gonna be talking about just what we've been doing lately, some updates and um, you're gonna get a lot of value out of it. This video is not gonna have any pitching. Um, sometimes we pitch our different stuff like personal coaching courses. Um, different stuff we have, but I don't really feel like pitching in this video. So this video is going to be no pitch, um, only value. And I'm just going to just share what we've been doing the last couple months, kind of some business strategies and stuff like that. So sit back and just relax and watch this video. I'm telling you, I just know ahead of time that this specific video is going to be very valuable because I have not released a video in a long time and I have a lot um, to share. So first and foremost, what we've been working on lately is what um, pretty much our primary business has always been, but we've been making really good um, improvements. And um, these improvements kind of stemmed out of the uh, kind of the coronavirus, uh, like economic crash, whatever you want to call it. So it's really interesting, like everyone, no one thinks they're lazy. And this is kind of uh, like I I've never considered myself lazy, but you should really ask yourself, like, could you be doing more? Because I've never considered myself a lazy person. But looking back on it, I just wasn't like I wasn't working as hard as I could have. And I just wasn't actually um, like I, I was a little lazy. <laughs> like, it's like I, I it's funny, like no one thinks they're lazy when they're lazy, right? Like, but ask yourself, could you be doing more? So let me explain this. So in the last three years, we've always been making, we've been making seven figures um, doing affiliate marketing for the last five or six years. And I think what happened was we got a little bit comfortable in that and we weren't hustling as much. Um, maybe because we felt like we didn't need to or something. And what we, what we were doing in the past was we were getting a new winning campaign, not very frequently. I mean, to be honest, in the past, like in 2019, 2018, we were getting a really good new winning campaign like every three months or every four months. It was kind of like once a quarter, we were landing a really good winning campaign. And I feel like that's how a lot of affiliates are operating right now. Seriously, if you just ask yourself, like how often are you actually finding a new campaign that is successful? If you're to if you're gonna actually answer that question honestly, I would bet that a lot of you guys watching this video, you're probably only been finding a new and I'm talking about a new winning campaign, like an offer that you've never tested before, that you test, that crushes it, that becomes your next winner. I'm talking about new new winners, new winning campaigns. I mean, how often have you actually been finding a new winning campaign? If you were like how I was, you've probably only been finding a new winning campaign like every quarter, maybe like every three months, every four months, maybe every six months, every like two to five months. I personally wasn't finding that many winning campaigns that frequently in the past. And I know why, it was because I was actually not focusing on it. And this is really important. Sometimes when you're focusing on something, um, I mean, it's not sometimes, but most of the time I found in the past, like when I've f deliberately focused on something, it's always like come to fruition um, so much better. And I mean, I, it's an obvious statement, but it's, it's the type of thing where it's like if you're driving down the highway and you're just thinking about like BMWs, <laughs> you know, if you're driving down the highway, you're thinking of Mercedes, you, you pay attention to all these Mercedes that are driving by and stuff. I feel like it's the same way in business. Like if you really say to yourself every single week, I'm finding another winning offer like every single week. If you make something your focus, it's probably going to come to fruition um, a lot better than if it's like not truly uh, a, a top priority. So um, what happened was in February, we were just crushing it. I mean, we, we've always been crushing it, but we were really crushing it. Like February, we, we, we had almost, we almost did $1 million in, um, in February. Like it was, it, it was, it was like eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000 or something. It was a really good month of revenue, revenue. Um, of course the profit on that was 
you know, quarter million or 200 grand, whatever it was, right? I think it was 200, 240, 220 grand of, of profit, right? So we were crushing it and we were gonna continue crushing it. <laughs> and then what happened was um, the coronavirus stuff happened and it messed up a lot of our campaigns because a lot of our clients were um, car insurance, car loans, schools, um, insurance agencies, and just like the world and the economy kind of went haywire. As you all know, in February, March, April, and May, it was kind of like that period of time. Thankfully, there's been a recovery. But what happened was we went from this huge month, we didn't go to zero, but we went from you know, doing almost $1 million in a month to only doing like $300,000 or something um, the next month or so. So revenue, profit, stuff like reduced by um, almost three times. And I'm just being transparent here because look, we're running a business, everyone's running a business. I, what's the point of pretending like everything was hunky-dory in, um, in February, March, and April, and May, things were really actually quite difficult. And um, our business profits and revenues went down by about three times. We lost temporarily a boatload of clients, and it was really quite stressful. It was concerning and stuff like that. But then, here's what happened. We put, like, we went from being what I, th I never thought we were lazy, and like, maybe lazy is the wrong word, but comfortable is maybe a better word. I never, I, I didn't know that I was comfortable in 2019. Like I, if someone were to say like, hey, are you a hard worker? I'm, oh, I'm the hardest worker. Like I didn't feel like I was comfortable in 2019, 2018. But then what happened was when this situation happened in the spring, it was like we went into beast mode. Our whole company is like, we gotta get those profits back. Like we gotta get the million dollar month back. Um, we got to get those profits back. So our whole company went into kind of overdrive mode. Like if I thought that I was a hard worker in the past, we just upped the ante by like 10x. And basically what we said to ourselves is we made a mission. Because here's the reason why we lost so much profit. And granted, we never went negative. Like we, we actually were, you know, thankfully... Um, we started at a really good place, right? So like even our worst month in um, in April or May, even our very worst month was still about $60,000 or $70,000 of like profit, um, which is really good. I mean, I'm thankful that we built a business that is really substantial. So I'm, I'm really thankful that when things kind of went bad, we, we were able to still like produce a good profit and stuff, right? I, I really... I feel for those businesses out there, like the restaurants and so there's restaurants and just like airlines and there's some businesses that are just like really struggling, that are still really stressed out, that are not knowing how they're gonna make it, that are considering bankruptcy and stuff. And what I'm thankful about the internet business is that it's it's there's not that many expenses of the internet business. It's not like you've started a restaurant with like all these rental properties and all this stuff. It's not like you have an airlines with all this airline sitting around and staff and crew. Obviously we have staff in our business and stuff, but it's still like a slimmer model than um, some retail shops and stuff like that. So you guys are definitely in the right business with this internet stuff. So the reason I'm telling this story is because honestly, this story is supposed to um, teach you and inspire you because this is real life. I mean, if you wanna learn from someone who's been there and done that, I mean, I'm sharing exactly what we've been through this year. So then what happened was our whole company went into overdrive mode. We're like, we have to get that million dollar month back. Like we gotta get our revenues back. We gotta get our profits back. Like, you know, cause everyone was having so much fun in January and February when we were looking at the numbers and you know there's eight hundred thousand dollars coming in in like a single month I had employees and stuff getting like twenty thousand dollar bonuses each month it was crazy it was crazy and it was awesome and we went from that to you know still being profitable but a big dip so then what we did was we went into this overdrive mode and we set a company mission and that company mission is every single week, new winning 
campaigns, like new winning offers every week. And this is really aggressive because like nobody's doing this. And like, there's obviously some people doing this, but we've taken this to like a really aggressive extreme. And what's really exciting about this is that it's working. If you notice, you haven't seen a YouTube video from me in like, you haven't seen a video from me in like the last like month. I told my brother to start making some YouTube videos because I've, I've just been hustling away at this mission. And in fact, you haven't seen any YouTube videos at all on our channel, even in the last two weeks, because we've all been hustling at this mission. And the mission has been to every single week get new winning um, campaigns. So it started off a little slow. In the summer, we were like, can we really do this? And we started, you know, we got a winning campaign. It wasn't every week, it was like, you know, every once, it was like every four weeks, we're like, ah. Oh. But then it's like, recently it started to just explode. Like literally, in the last like one or two months, we, we have been getting a new winning offer, a new winning campaign, like every single week. And we are watching the revenue, we are watching the profits just absolutely skyrocket. And in fact, I don't know how this month is gonna do compared to February, but our, our goal here, and I believe we can pull it off, is next month in October, I really wanna pull off a month that is as good, if not better, as that record um, February month that we had in the past. So this is really, it's th this story is to inspire you. So what can you be doing? You need to set a mission. Like what's the mission for your business? Is the mission for your business to get your first profiting campaign is your mission. Uh, there's a lot of affiliates out there. There's a lot of affiliates watching this video that have a profiting campaign. They have like one or two profiting campaigns. I really think that you should make it your mission to, you know, maybe maybe finding a new profiting campaign every week is a little ambitious, right? We we work hard. We hustle. I have a I have salespeople. Like we have a staff. Like we feel we can pull this off because. We just like, we're a really hardworking team and stuff. But if you're an individual affiliate, what if you set a goal? What if you, what if every two weeks, what if every single two weeks, you find a new offer that can profit and you succeed on that offer? Could you imagine how much money you would be making if every two weeks you find a new winning campaign? All, we would be talking in, I, we'll be talking in January and February. You could be making like, you know, $45,000 a month of profit or something. Like if seriously, if you find a new winning campaign every two weeks and then we touch base in like February, you'd be making boatloads of money. And I think a lot of affiliates are getting lazy. They're getting comfortable. At least some have been. And they say, oh, I got, you know, I have a couple winning campaigns. I got my, my insurance. I got my my home services, like there's so many affiliates that just have like a couple, like one or two winning campaigns. Why not set the standard higher? Why not say to yourself, seriously, set a mission for your own business. It, why doesn't your mission be to find a brand new winning offer? I'm talking about an offer that you've never even run before. Every two weeks, what if, what if every two weeks you find some brand new offer that you've never run before? And your goal is to find a brand new profitable one every two weeks. If you just do the math, like I said, by February, by later in time, you'll have like six or eight winning campaigns running simultaneously, and who knows how much profit that could produce. It could produce even over 60 grand a month of net profit, so it's all up to your results and stuff, but the main emphasis of this video is set a goal, because our company set this goal. We set this company goal of having, um, to, our, our goal has been, and it still is, to find at least one new winning campaign or offer every single week, and then succeed on it, and then find another one, and succeed on it, and not give up on the first, but layer, and layer, and layer, and layer, and layer. And then you talk to us next year, next thing you know, we got 45 winning campaigns, we got 45 winning Facebook ad accounts going. It's like just layer, 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 and expand. So this is Peter, I'm heading out. I'll see you in a couple weeks. I've been busy running the business. So for the coaching, I'll, I'll do another YouTube in a couple weeks guys but we are walking the walk we're doing these things and um we'll talk soon so enjoy this video i wanted to get out something for you guys here enjoy it like share and we'll talk soon all right bye